hello guys and welcome to my channel so in this video as you saw in the previous video if you didn't see the previous video I'm gonna put a link above um, I did purchase a police um, police car police interceptor this is a 2015 Ford Taurus let's look at the car right now this is the car I got don't judge so quickly yeah we all been guilty and this life's real tricky Just keep your head yeah. down with I've been making tracks so I feel okay I've been making tracks so I feel this way Make a better so the obviously police department <clears throat> had to strip down some items uh, from the car take them down um, due to the you know nature of the uh, specialty of those uh, features but uh, I was left with some items um, that are still on the car some lights and some other things and I'm gonna show you all what I have left in the car and I'm gonna review the car just as is because I just got this car a few days ago so you guys can see what it is like to buy uh, to purchase a police car car so what we got left is we got the push bar we also have um, lights we also have a strobe lights inside the car um, inside the grill so those two lights we have left we have uh, two spotlights one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side they're non led just standard ones in this case and there was some holes that's been plugged number of the car due to the sticker that i've seen in here there was a 71 the car car number was 71. we do have a uh, police wheels uh, with extra large brakes those brakes are pretty big look at those look at the size this is a uh, this is an 18 inch wheel and the brakes are filling in pretty much the whole um, space. They're huge comparing to the other cars. They're pretty big brakes. All front and back are the same. Um, tires on the cars are 245 by 55 by 18 VR rated. Um, pretty good tire. I have pretty good tire. I'll tell you I got probably the tires probably 60 or 70 percent life on it dual exhaust it's a flex fuel and the car is all-wheel drive so it's an all-wheel drive car and of course I have a police interceptor um, sticker uh, left behind why I think it's a state police and I know it's a state police because of the tape you see right here it's a black and orange tape that's tape are standard for the state police cars so um, this car was a state police car and I see kind of markings. So when they peel the tapes off, uh, when they peel the tapes off, a lot of the residue from the tape was left behind, and I had to actually scrape it off. Like, all right, now we can get inside the car and see what's uh, what's happening inside. And my wife is here. Um, on top of the front lights in here, you also have a strobe lights on the front, and. same thing in the back there's strobe lights here and there's one right there and you got the the back lights right here the, the the same thing as the front but you have them in the back so with the police car you don't get a key fob this is your key fob right here you get two keys and they're only working with the keys there's no key fob no auto locks nothing it's standard so you pop the trunk open all right so far so what I see inside is this. I have more lights. I have two more lights in here. Or these brand right here. Loose. Uh, in my case, I didn't um, have a tray uh, or floor in here. It was just um, just as is. Full size spare. Um, you got a lock lockout box right here for evidence or something. It's pretty metal metal cage that it's been caged in in here obviously something was stored in here and they have a tray uh, what this tray was i'm not sure but you have to push the pins right here to unlock it and the tray comes out and it has a whole bunch of wires in here um, there was probably some equipment in here i would believe that there was a probably computers or some kind of lights or whatever but it's, it's a pretty nice tray that goes in and out so to lock it you have to push the pins and it locks in there you go on top of it um, as you can see here it says police and it looks like it was a speaker right there but it's not a speaker it's a fan so you see a fan in there it's probably exhausting 
the air from here because of the computers it was probably cooling down the computers that were here if you look in there good thing i don't have uh, the carpet here you see the reinforcement bar you see that big old metal thing in there that's welded and metal and obviously it's not a factory because it's not been painted like the factory was but it's it's pretty heavy duty and it goes under the back seat all right so here's the back and here's that speaker that i told you about that it looks like a speaker but in reality it's a fan those are the back lights um, that are protected looks like a factory uh, plastics in here and this is a back seat if you guys are wondering about seat i mean it's not leather but it's very nice quality it's soft it's comfortable i would say this is pretty pretty comfortable back seat and what we see here is this this is what you see this is the crossbar that went to the trunk and that way and this is the reinforcement into the frame and so the back doors are disabled there is no um, locking pin right there and the handle doesn't work well it works but nothing connects to the door so once you're inside the back you can't unlock the door you need to unlock it from outside and the windows don't work from here so this is all disabled so I'm gonna have to take these panels off and probably connect the rod to the to this guy and see what I can do about the locking and the windows so um, if somebody's riding with me they can use this part of the car and uh, enjoy being able to get out if something happens you know let's look at the front since we're here and you guys get pretty good view of front seats Ooh, I like the door <laughs> now, now I'm gonna have to crawl through the front but luckily there is no center console so anyway the front seats are okay they're not crazy and they're not bucket seats they're pretty flat just so the poli police officers with all their gear that they have strapped onto them can get in and get out really quick here in the center you have a metal console that used to have another console on top of it bolted in with all the equipment there was radios in here there was computers and all kinds of stuff that this is the only downside kind of the car because as you drive you don't have really no room to put your hand on so you kind of your right arm just kind of hanging in the air and it's kind of not not comfortable um, so you can remove this right here because there's holes in there and you can just unbolt this whole thing it comes out there's a whole bunch of wires underneath and once it's out you can put a standard console in here so this piece comes out um, because this is this is aftermarket and then the new one comes in that goes right here and the whole center console just goes from here flat so this removes in the console the new console that comes in in here so you can uh, put a factory um, center console, console in here and it's gonna be just fine you get a police light with the white and red um this side of the dash just standard on the normal cars there's just gonna be a panel in here but nothing and of course the glove box um, comes standard you have controls for your um, spotlights pretty basic radio the radio is pretty basic um, nothing special about it just the radio and a CD player uh, CD player and mp3 player there is no USB connections nothing all you get are is two of these guys that's about it the trunk opens from here only opens when the car is running car has to be running and open to uh, pop the trunk if you pop the trunk and you don't go open it in 30 seconds it locks itself back up again or you have to use the key when the car is off you cannot open the trunk only with the key so air conditioner all the basic stuff cd player radio uh, phone does not connect there's no bluetooth nothing just a standard basic radio this area right here in uh, civilian versions there is a speaker in there on the center in this case they don't have a speaker but you can get a speaker grill cover that you can slide in there it's gonna fill it in it looks nice and just like a regular car it just fills that space with a, like a speaker kind of mash thing and uh, it works fine so you get um, your glasses container to put your glasses in um, little lights reading lights these guys are standard nothing special the shifter is right here shifters on the steering wheel so I watched the video on YouTube that shifter all it is is just bolted to the column right there you can take this apart 
unbolted there's two cables in here and you can run cables back here and if you find a factory console in here you can run those cables and connect to the shifter and they will operate just like regular car all right now we're in the front of the car and it's pretty comfortable i'll tell you what it's it's comfortable car uh, front seat is all electric so you can adjust left right forward back tilt it lift it up very good adjustment the passenger seat not as adjustable it's all manual but you can still live with it um doors front doors have reinforced panel in them bulletproof i think class three or something um up to the 38 caliber so they are reinforced and due to that they're super heavy so when they swing open they're heavy that's why they have this belt right here that's holding doors so you don't rip them out while you're opening because i don't think that hinge right there will hold it if you swing the door open really hard it's probably gonna it's probably gonna rip it off the off the frame in there so they have those belts in there to support to support that um like i said unlocking and unlocking the car this is your key fob and remote this is all you get um all the other features are disabled you cannot unlock with one key both doors nothing it's just a one key one lock you unlock it opens this door that's it everything else is done with your lock and unlock button on the car you can unlock all the doors and the lights same thing you only have on parking lights and the headlights that's it there is no fog lights nothing like that brightness and your pedals uh, you can adjust your pedals they move back and forth so your pedals are um, getting adjustment steering wheel also adjusts really nice like we already talked about it uh, shifter and i'm going to show you a nice feature about the shifter so let's start the car what you do is just pretty much start the car we're going to turn the radio off so it doesn't bother us so um this is a uh, police kind of addition uh, speedometer on the civilian cars you'll get a big speedometer in here and big lcd no tachometer um so this this is a little different this is just specific uh for the police cars um it says right here that um the the speedometer is certified calibrated so speedometer is certified and calibrated which is makes me wonder if the our speedometers on our cars are not, are not calibrated and how accurate are they if it has to say that it's been certified and calibrated when i got the car mpg was crazy i got the car with 11 miles per gallon mpg average and it got me scared a little bit because uh that, that's really bad at three dollars three dollars per gallon it's scary so i filled the car up uh, the tank is 19 gallons it uh, light came on I went to the gas station right away and I put 17 gallons exactly like 17 points on uh, 17 gallons into the, the tank got me full tank I've been driving for 15 8 miles so far and my average mpg is 17.9 so 18 miles per gallon and i mean i'm not feathering the car i'm not just babying it and um not taking it easy i mean i i drive easy but sometimes i just press the pedal and take off nicely so I, i'll say you know i'm driving okay um and 18 i can take all day long by the paperwork if you look at the paperwork um the factory paperwork on this car uh, 3.7 liter all-wheel drive should be 18 miles per gallon and 22 on the highway so i think i'm doing very well and uh, my my average is about 80 percent or 70 or 80 percent city and about 20 or 30 highway so i think i'm doing well with 18 i can live with 18 so that's what you get a speedometer of course you can scroll in there's a whole bunch of different not a whole bunch but there's some some things you can adjust in reverse the camera comes up right there so you can see the camera in your mirror which is a really nice feature really nice feature so you can turn it off and it goes away so of course like i said you know as you drive if you don't you don't have anything here it's kind of like naturally you just want to rest your hand in here and you just you don't so kind of <clears throat> bummer but what i like about shifter is you only get parking reverse neutral and drive so there is no second third and fourth so when you're shifting you just drive it all the way down and you're in drive that's it or up 
This car comes with six speed transmission with overdrive. So it's a seven speed transmission virtually. Well, six full speeds and overdrive is a seven, seven. This car does not have a catalog converter. So it's pretty much straight pipe from the uh, headers all the way to the back exhaust and there's a exhaust at the end, but the pipe is straight all the way down. Let's look at it. This is the exhaust. It goes to the back to the exhaust and the pipe that's a flex pipe right there and it goes to the headers right there right to the headers so no catalog converter it's a straight pipe and it looks like aftermarket pipe it doesn't look like factory because factory everything factory underneath doesn't rust and the pipe is extremely rusty that tells me that it's not you know probably was modified pipe exhaust you know the whole exhaust system that's, uh, let's not call it pipe let's call it exhaust system so all-wheel drive produces 310 horsepower and 287 or 289 pounds of torque i believe so it's it's decent it's decent um drives nice it, you feel like uh, something different and i think there's some modifications to the engine definitely transmission is modified something about it but uh, probably something with the engine because i'm going to show you uh, the sticker that says a uh, police editions all right and he's under the hood so came with a pretty decent battery no cover here and what you see is what you see so looks like there was some notes in here and what's been done pedal rear uh, rotors has been done at 90,000 miles front rotors been done in 104,000 miles liquor it free on it's probably the uh, air conditioner was done at 110 air filter was replaced at 90 transmission was fit you know serviced at 90 purged valves 93,000 miles looks like police department or whoever did this has pretty good record of keeping a record so that so now it has a strut bar in the front i don't see anything special about here um, i looked a lot of pictures online to see what the engines look like and this is doesn't look any different than um, uh, than other engines only thing is makes me interested is this guy right here so you have uh, two liter or three and a half liter engine a regular one you have three and a half liter turbo engine or 3.7 liter turbo engine uh, here and then you have 3.5 turbo engine and 3.7 police edition see that police right there these engines has a lot more coolant so overall this is it about the engine if you guys have any questions about the engine or anything that's under the hood let me know we can look at it all right i think we went over pretty good so let me tell you let me put you on my stand in here so the car the condition of the car you see is pretty much how i got it after auction um it was a little bit dirtier i mean it was a little more i cleaned it up inside and outside like i told you once they peeled all the reflector tape all around the car in a lot of places the tape peeled off but the, the residue the stickiness was left behind so i had to use a gallon of goo gone and about two days of scraping it uh, use credit card plastic credit card doesn't scratch the paint but removes that really well i cleaned inside i cleaned the engine a little bit i mean it wasn't oily or anything it was just a lot of dust on it so i had to wash it just to see the what it looks like uh, without all the dirt on it so engine was washed car was washed inside was clean and wiped i mean it was dusty in there but it was it's pretty much this is a condition to bring it up to speed like i said my next goal is to fix the back doors to fix the console um pete 717 station so on the roof i want to go to the print shop and have them print me big letters just throughout the whole roof and it's gonna say pete 717 just like my channel so when i'm flying drone over it i know that's my car i'm most likely gonna keep the front push bumper i might take it off leave the brackets in so i can put it back in it only takes 24 bolts in there looks like and i can be able to remove the, the push bar itself without the mounting brackets and put it back whenever i want to <coughs> possibly upgrade the radio system oh 
The only problem I see with this car is everyone's driving speed limit or under speed limit in front of you. Nobody's speeding. Like once you get on the freeway, all of a sudden everybody in the right lane and you're just with them in there and nobody's passing. If somebody's passing, then they shed their pants as soon as they pass you. Um, that's about it. That's the only problem I see with this car. Everything else, nice. Um, I think even my wife says that it makes me a little bit better driver. I turn, turn signals a lot more. I stop at the stop signs. Um, positively stopping it uh, I think I drive a lot better because I feel that responsibility it's like almost carrying a gun if you have a concealed carry and you carry a gun I do carrying a gun gives you a lot of responsibility you feel responsible you know but with that uh, you know the, the carrying guns so same thing driving this car as you drive you kind of you don't represent police department but same time that that weight is on you because people looking at you they don't know if you're a police a police officer or not from outside from far away but they see a police car and they're kind of judging you based on your driving style pol judging police department so you kind of have to take an extra step and drive and present yourself a little better and i think i do that very well i think i feel that responsibility and i i think i do a better job driving now so Stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to update you with the next video on whatever else I'm going to do with this car. And um, thank you for watching.